Hey, how's it going, guys? For another video today, we're going to be doing a Young Carlos Santin debut. Now, looking at this card on the lower difficulties, I would imagine he's going to be pretty glitchy with 89 contact on right, 107 contact on left, 112 power versus right, 125 power versus left. The 64 vision is what makes me think he'll only be glitchy on the lower difficulties. With 81 fielding and 88 arm strength, he's surprisingly still a really good fielder. So that being said, I, I don't think I would ever use this card on legend difficulty actually i know i would never use them on legend difficulty on hall of fame maybe who knows hopefully this game is on hall of fame so we at least get an understanding but again right now we are currently rated 712 so we have a good chance of at least playing on all-star so we're gonna have stan in left willie mays in center tony gwen in right lou gehrig jackie robinson at second honus at short wade box jason candle is entering back in the lineup I don't feel like Buster Posey was getting it done. I started noticing some really bad exit velocities. We're going to go back to the glitch Jason. So the way the lineup stacks up, Tony Gwen, Honus Wagner, Stan hitting third, of course, in debuts. We're trying to give them as many at-bats as possible in the most clutch situations. Lou Gehrig, Willie Mays, Wade Boggs, Jackie hitting seventh. And of course, like I said, we got the glitch back. He's hitting eighth. If you want to stay up to date with MLB The Show gameplay tips and content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on the notifications as well. So like I said, we're rated 7-12. We got ourselves a division series pack. We're obviously going to hopefully get Chipper in by next week. Hopefully before I go to TwitchCon. Let's go ahead and get right on into this. So our opponent for today's game is going to be Gary RD10. He's going to have on the mound Lefty Grove, which is good news for Stanton. We got Kluber, which is good news for us. He's got Cobb, Gwen, Griffey, Giambi, Donaldson, Matt Williams. He's got himself a solid squad. All signature series except for two players. Should be a good game. So we are the home team, and I don't think I've necessarily done a Corey Kluber debut. Now, what I will say is he's one of my favorite cards to use. I've used him probably once or twice, and it just so happened I was never recording when we got him. But you'll see in this video. I think he's pretty solid. All right, this game better be better than our last game for hitting spots. And there we go. You hit a spot. Good things happen. Almost gave up a double. Oh, 2 we're looking for Deutsch and Deutsch. And that ended up actually a little bit higher, but we still jammed him. We get the out. One, two, cutter inside. Good spot. Good pine wood for free. That better have been a broken bat. Oh, one, well, we're going to throw a curveball low and just out of the zone. And that's going to hang on us a little bit. And it still gets the job done Corey kluber i think threw nine pitches all nine of them if i'm not mistaken we hit our spots so my favorite pitcher is the pitch in the game right now the signature series chris sale Corey kluber is definitely on top of that list along with kershaw and hopefully if you've used tom siever already in that comment section let me know how good is he because if he can dot that'll be good news for us we swing on the 1-0 count we just miss a slider honus wagner that is man all right stan hopefully you got some pop because we're gonna need it on the full count we end up drawing the walk lou gehrig now it says he's hitting 395 i honestly don't feel like he's been hitting that well for us case in point that's what usually happens for me it never really seems to go that well first pitch to giambi we're gonna throw a sinker high and away one pitch one out first pitch to donaldson we're gonna throw a cutter away a good spot oh yeah one one we're gonna go four seam up and away that should be a doy it's it's a dink all right that good hit keep that in our back pocket if we're gonna go away with something hard it's gonna be the cutter give him to roll it over and we throw a sinker down the middle all right so one good pitch he goes deep and then we get complacent for whatever odd reason give up another this is what should happen again why ever say anything positive people want negative hopefully this inning we get the same luck our opponent did no line outs do not let me power swing and square it up and hit it negative five miles per hour and guess what i'm not praying to line out jesus just yet Wade Boggs, base hit up the middle. Got to be a little out in front and roll it over for those base hits, ladies and gentlemen. Jackie, another well hit ball, another line out. This is what we live for. Jason Kendall does what Jason Kendall does. He finds gaps. He comes up clutch. He's going to get us an RBI. I'm telling you, for whatever odd reason, he's just the most glitchy card and well why do i again don't even expect anything positive 
some negatives coming one two bury the curveball kluber do not hang it there you go give us that strike out change up low out of the zone i'm gonna swing over the top we jam him that's gonna be a routine fly ball to stanton who again we are not using him in right who that would make him a gold plated fielder right now we're using him in left takes a little bit of a hit he's a silver oh one change up bury it a little bit not completely but just a little bit there you go just give him to swing over the top better inning for Corey. we dotted again tony gwen all right well at least at least we missed that one baby steps here let's go ahead squared up again better luck honus wagner there we are there's the glitch that we needed an absolute no doubt shout oh my god what did i just say no doubt shot no doubt shot stanton your turn get off me ball or yeah another hard hit out all right well good times lou gehrig all right well first pitch to griffey we'll go sinker away probably not smart considering we almost threw it down the middle 2-1 we're gonna bring the sinker up and in for a uh, oh my what 3-1 i don't know why i'm throwing a curveball out of the zone probably because i'm an idiot or high iq it's one to two three two oh <sighs> What did I say about not throwing sinkers anymore? Especially if you throw it down the middle. Good stuff. 2-0. We're going to go to the pitch that I know is going to get smoked. Just kidding. It's going to be another routine out. That's the first one of this inning. Our opponent has made us pay for every mistake that we have actually made. And, and I mean, realistically, he's made us pay for... Oh, don't give him that. All right. He's made us pay for balls that were right down the middle twice and one of them was just a great hit up it was an absolute dot and he went the other way one one change up low and just barely out of the zone just kidding end up hanging on us but we get one of our line outs right back but not before we gave up unfortunately another run let's get the offense moving again and we draw the walk anyway so man on first with some speed wade boggs three one to wade boggs we're gonna do a hit and run and we did it correctly we went away with the pitch just uh, our old friend line outs back jackie don't be the only man who can save us now is probably jason kendall it's jason kendall man if you want to hit home runs do not have power in your lineup on god the only one to go deep for me tony gwen rod carew my pitcher every now and then jason kendall it, I, if Stan goes deep in his debut, I don't know what to tell you. I'll be amazed. Corey Kloob to the lube is going to hit it hard to the left field. All right, three loud outs, but at least we did score two. One oh, that should be a good sinker for an absolute do it. That could have been so much worse. Thank God he missed it. Tony Gwynn. Dude, if you see that animation, close your eyes. You're probably going to see something you don't want to see because they usually miss it. We're going to go cutter inside first pitch. Hopefully he's over aggressive and we missed our spot again. I know what he wants and I'm trying to give it to him. Just not as good, but unfortunately right there, we gave right what he wanted right in his wheelhouse. That's a beautiful pitch essentially. Can we turn two though? That's not going to happen. Never mind. It is going to happen. I was wrong again. Tony down the line, right to the first baseman. All right, another well-hit ball, another out. Stanton right on into this shift. Like I said, I'll be amazed for two reasons. One, I squared up with Stanton, probably not going deep. But number two, it's his player debut. We usually shark the sheets with our players. Oh, one, that's a good enough pitch is what I'll, I'll, I'll label that as. Change up low and away to Tony just a bit outside 1-0 that's a doy and that is a beautiful beautiful hit to give up brother right all right well that's usually how it works you give up a late hit it turns into a triple thank god he may still get stranded cutter inside hit your spot good spot that's why i knew he was going to be looking for it but if you get it in on off the plate you're going to get yourself a free easy out but if you miss then you're going to give up a home run like we've done a couple times Lou Gehrig hits the ball right to the shortstop. So we got ourselves an out number one. One pitch into the inning. Willie is going to be able to get a base hit. Okay, that's the best thing about Willie. A lot of times you'll get some cheap hits because the third baseman is playing in because of his speed. And you'll just, you'll easily ground it over by him. Wait. Ah, oh, we might have been just a tad underneath that one. All right. So we're going to get ourselves two 
down. I think that brings up Jason Kendall again, if I'm not mistaken. Tell me it does. No, it's Jackie and then Jason. Jackie, get a hit. Because Jason's going deep. Jackie, tell me he got all of it. Let's go. Jackie did something. Can you believe it? I don't know why I'm necessarily surprised that Jackie Robinson did something. Because he's actually done really well for me. And he getting kind of fits the meta. Really high contact, high vision. Not a whole lot of power. Jason's getting scary, man. A home run, a double, a single. He's a triple shy of the cycle in three at-bats. You can't stop him. Corey Klub to the lube is gonna pretty much break his bat. All right. I'm feeling a little bit risky. We're gonna go right back to... Uh-oh. Okay. O2 cutter just a tad off the plate. That's gonna be a little bit more than I wanted, but it still gets the job done money pitches by Corey kluber loan away curveball for dots that's what we're looking uh oh all right we're alive everything's good 2 oh we're looking for a big doits and amish come on there we are good cutter on the 2 oh get ourselves a one two three inning let's get some more runs hopefully stan comes up this inning actually he will he's gonna be hitting third tony to base it up the middle all right we got a lead off runner on it's about time. Oh, I missed that one. Stanton, did he get all of it? Like I said in my prior prediction, it's his debut. If you do square it up, it's going to be that. Essentially, a line out. I mean, that is good squared up. 99 on a 97 mile per hour fastball. What am I supposed to do? Uh, thank God for Lou Gehrig. I am literally telling you, if you want the most terrible exit velocities, get these cards with ridiculously high power. If you want good home runs with some tanks, I'm telling you, go go get yourself the Wade Boggs and Jason Kendall's. Those are the great cards in the game. Wade Boggs, another base hit. He's not even actually slugging 700 for me, but again, he's in 400. He's, he's, he's crazy good. Dude, Jackie's slugging 900 for me. Oh. I don't know what to say. And did he do another one? Did he? He did. Did he get it? Did he? Did he? He got another one. Best cards in the game: Jackie Robinson, Jason Kendall, Tony Gwynn, Rod Carew, Wade Boggs. Not one of them is a power hitter. And I think did Jason do it again, or is that a deep fly out? Come on, dude! If that hit off the wall, I was sending him three. I would have loved to have gotten the cycle. All right, well we got ourselves a beautiful lead. And Wade Boggs with the gold glove defense. First pitch to Cargo. Change up low and away. Oh, my God. Don't be hit. Come on, Kluber. Come on. There we go. All right. Three pitches, three outs is what we're looking for. Three pitches, three outs. We are two runs away from a mercy. Can we get it? Break. Tony. Screw it, three pitches, three line. All right, it wasn't three line outs, but three pitches, two line outs, a hard hit ground ball. Sergio Romo, and actually, I so far highly recommend this card. He's been really good for me. He's like another Corey Kluber. Hits his spots. He's got the good pitches, good speed differential. He does pretty well. Change up. Oh, okay, that is going to be a ground ball to Honus. Out number one. Sinker up and in. We jammed him, and I don't know why Honus decided to run backwards. But anyways, we get the out. Oh. Dude, that's how good Sergio Romo is. You even make mistakes to an absolute righty bopper. You'll get him out. Player of the game, honestly. Who else? Jackie Robinson. Two for four. Two home runs. Jason Kendall. You put him back in the lineup. Three for four. A home run. Two doubles. Okay, I was actually under the impression he had a single. I was apparently wrong. He did even better. Willie Mays, two for three, a home run, a ribby. Lou Gehrig, one for four, a home run. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.